What's up, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can fix random pack errors from Apex Legends. This video is of course targeted at Steam users, but if you're playing the game on Origin, these fixes will apply to you as well. Usually, if you receive a pack reading related error, there will be a file name in the error. Make sure to either screenshot it or write it down physically if you can't screenshot it. Why? Well, because we'll be using this now. Simply make sure the game is completely closed, open up Steam and locate the game. Right click on the game, manage, browse local files and a new file browser will open inside of the game's directory with all of the game files inside of it. Then simply navigate to where the corrupt RPAC file is and simply either delete it or rename it to something else such as adding old in the name so that the game or Steam can't find it. There are a whole bunch of RPAC files, I simply just searched for RPAC and there's a whole number of them. They're all really located inside of the packs folder over here, Win64 and they're all here. So simply locate the corrupt one and either type in say underscore old or simply delete the file entirely. Then after doing that, obviously with the game closed, we'll head across to Steam, right click the game, properties, local files, and then click verify integrity of game files. This will run through all of the game files on your computer and see if any of them are corrupt or missing. Obviously one will be missing as we renamed or deleted the file. After that finishes, we should be able to play the game as usual. On top of that, there's a couple of things that we can try. Most of all, if you haven't already, make sure that Windows is up to date as well as your graphics card drivers. There's only a small chance that these could be causing issues reading from your PC. Note that you might get the error again with a different file name to the one that we had earlier. So if you do, make sure to write down that file name as well and simply rinse and repeat exactly what we did in the previous steps here. Then finally, something else that we can try is possibly closing other programs on your computer. Simply close them all manually through the way that you normally would and then open up the task manager with control shift escape. Inside of here, locate as many programs that you recognize, right click and then click end task assuming that they're not open on your PC anywhere else. After doing this, try launching up the game and see if it's working as expected. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.